Hey all, it's the Fuzz1542 here. Today I'm going to be talking about putting new thermal compound onto your GPU. You may have noticed that your GPU is not cooling as efficiently as it used to be, or you may have also noticed that after moving your GPU for whatever reason, all of a sudden it's starting to cook or get really hot. But both reasons are because the thermal compound, especially the stock stuff, it kind of dries out over time. I'm going to be going over the proper way to clean and purify both surfaces and one of my more favorite cooling compounds. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the screws. Now you see that little sticker in the top right? That's actually the warranty void if punctured. But I've done this plenty of times. It's usually only the four screws around the actual uh, GPU that hold it down to do that. Wiggling it back and forth helps break the, the connection on the thermal paste. It makes it a little bit easier. I like to use a little thin flat blade to uh, help separate the connection on the where the cooling fans are connected. They like to get a little stuck there and you can actually damage by uh, tugging on it. So this just helps kind of break the connection. Now I like to use the two-step Arctic Clean. You can get this stuff around eight bucks off of Amazon and it works really well. You can also use rubbing alcohol, but this stuff works out. Take stage one, put it down on the thermal pad. Give it a few minutes, it'll slowly dissolve. And then when you wipe it away, you're gonna wanna go with the grain. Some people like to use uh, coffee filters because they don't use any lint, but the shop paper towels I use, they uh, usually stay pretty clean. Remember to go with the grain so you're not rubbing anything into it. After you get off the bulk, you're going to want to just put some on your finger like this and go over the surface. Once you're fairly happy with the surface being clean, go ahead and grab stage two. It's the surface purifier. And do the same thing, just go with the surface, or with the grain, I mean. And then uh, for your last pass, choose a clean spot on the towel, then wipe from the center out. This helps keep any debris, any loose stuff from collecting. Once the heat sink is done, set it aside. It usually takes about a minute to fully dry. You're gonna repeat the steps. Stage one on there. You have a few minutes to soak in. And just like the heat sink, you're gonna wanna wipe that away gently. Careful not to smear it all over the place. And also be sure to get that uh, the old thermal paste I like to collect on the edge. Otherwise, it'll make purifying a pain because it'll keep smearing. And just take your purifier and kind of polish it into like a fine mirror. On the GPU side, if you get it perfectly clean, it should look like a mirror. Reflected around the light, make sure that you don't see any smudges, any streaks, anything like that. You're going to want it as clean as possible. I like to use GC Extreme. I've been using Arctic Silver 5 and this stuff served me well, but this uh, Extreme stuff seems to be holding up a few degrees cooler than this silver. Now right here, so it does come with a thing to spread it. Some people like to do the P. A lot of people also, and myself included, like to go in the straight line. It helps ensure that you won't get any air bubbles when you press down the heat sink. Make sure you connect that because the fan controller can be a pain to get to once it's all down and connected. Place it down under the heat sink. Kind of rock it back and forth or rotate it, I should say, to help spread it. Now do not put any of the screws in tight until you get them all in 
and once you start to tighten, you're going to go into a next pattern. Once you got everything tightened down in the X pattern, double check that everything's torqued down good. Now when you place this back into your computer, run a couple passes on like a benchmark or run a burn-in test. Even though this stuff doesn't really require a cure time, to be burned in it still helps spread the compound around that's it uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helps out you have a good day